Why, hello there, my friends. This is John Henry Sheridan with another installment of a Thoughtful Pause series. Uh, I am a human being on planet Earth at this particularly unique time, and, uh, you know, I find it uh, part of my reason for being here to share my thoughts and to uh, hopefully spread some peaceful vibes. So my thoughtful pause for today, what I'd like you to consider is this. Process over product. Process over product. So it's not an original idea. I think I first heard it from uh, Bob Baker, who is a uh, creative entrepreneur. Um, I'm not sure where he heard it from or if he made it up, but uh, so the idea is this, we, in the West, let's say, uh, <clears throat> we are kind of obsessed, or certainly in capitalist uh, economy or capitalist society, we tend to be a bit obsessed with the idea of product um, and what a product can yield, what kind of money we can make off of something. Uh, and then what happens with that train of thought is everything becomes a product, including people, including our homes and animals, and it's kind of, kind of weird, okay? I basically don't like it. I'm not anti-capitalist, but I never had a uh, good sense about the word product. I never, just never liked it. Um, I learned to like it, thinking like, okay, like, well, tree makes a product, uh, which is an apple. And that product is something I could eat. And I get it. I get a tree produces an apple, right? I produce music or videos, you know. I'm just telling you, I just never liked the word, okay? Um, so the idea of process over product is really, uh, in, if you don't enjoy the process of making a product, you won't enjoy the the product itself and I'll give you a couple examples from my own life uh, for today you know I was working on see the my wall back there so we had some water damage and uh, it's been building up and I just thought it's about time I'm gonna chip off the paint and then I'm gonna do coat it with dry lock and whatever this is not a home repair thing and I'm not looking for home repair advice I, I had a plan I'm gonna do it but anyway uh, chipping the the paint, the, the pouches of loose paint or where the um, brick is crumbling uh, is a fairly tedious physical process uh, requiring several hours and a lot of grunt work. So I'm wearing a mask, uh, mask for dust and goggles. And, um, you know, I loved it because I'm someone who's committed to process. Uh, and when it's finished, I won't be any more happy than when I was than when I was preparing for the job, for doing the job, because I understand everything is process. <clears throat> if you look at a river, I mean, anything really, but let's take example of a river. You look at a river, if you go to a river one day on Monday, and you go back, stay in the same place, and you look at that river on Tuesday, might look fairly similar, but it's absolutely a totally different river. And a river is never the same river twice. And this is how our, our human body is, because the our trillions of cells are constantly evolving and ch changing. You know, I have this weird skin condition. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. But some days I have spots over here. Some days I have spots over there. <laughs> sometimes I have white spots. Sometimes pink. Uh, when I sweat in the summer, I get these red blotches. It's kind of gross, but it's kind of fun. It doesn't hurt. Sometimes a little itchy or something, but you know, I've asked doctors about it. They just kind of shrug it off like, you know, people have skin things. It's not a, a problem, but what it shows me is that my life is a process because my arms look different every single day. It's interesting, you know. Um, so it reminds me that I'm not the same person I was yesterday, which is important to know. 
<clears throat> so, for example, I put out a my first demo tape in 1998, my heavy metal band, Beauty and Chaos. And I was so eager to record this demo, to have that experience, to mix it, to finish it, to hear the music back, you know, like nice and clean, and then to share the demo. Shortly after the demo came out, we break up. And then a year plus later, I have a band called Clockwork with some of the same guys. And then we finally get our stuff together enough to create a demo, three song demo as well. And then 1999, we put out the Clockwork demo. And then we break up a month later. <laughs> and uh, for my next band, Motor Stones, it didn't happen that way, but um, it's happened to me several times where I have something I'm so focused on, so interested in completing. I can't wait till it's done. I just put out an album, you know, in uh, this past spring, and then one in the fall, past fall. I couldn't wait to do it, and I did it. I didn't forget about it, but I was not interested in then selling the product or promoting the product even. Not, not, not even, maybe, maybe 10%. Maybe five percent interest in that because the purpose of doing it is to share it. But uh, I'm clearly, from my historical experience, much more interested in the process, the creative process, than I am in the product. And I'm not saying you should be, but I will tell you that by being interested in the process, it keeps you in the game because you always want to. The process is always available. The finished product is not. That always takes time, and you got to do process to get product. So you might as well learn to fall in love with the process rather than the product. Whatever it is, if, if you're training for a marathon or even training to run for a 5K or if you're uh, trying to lose weight, right? Or, or, you know, falling in love with the process would be a lot more beneficial than, than focusing on the product of that. Because being in love with the process will just enable you to be um, sustainably make changes because you like the process. It, it, it's just like kind of, it's, I, I wouldn't call it a hack. It's just kind of like, a, it's kind of like a key to happiness, I would say. Life is process. It's always going to be changing. A product is a product is a product. I would say a product is sort of a byproduct of process. So, you know, follow your pa my, my encouragement to you. Follow your passions. Um, using your wisdom, using your compassion. And, uh, you know, embrace the embrace process itself so that you're not afraid of a lack of result. Results are fine, but uh, process is, is so much more uh, part of the journey, right, than results. Results are fleeting. And what do you get? Likes on Facebook for it or some patch on the back? Good. That's important. But if you're not in love with the process, getting from one product or breakthrough or uh, result um, is arduous, painful. So process over product. That's what I'd like you to think about. That's all. It's my thoughtful pause for today. And, uh, hopefully next time I make a video, you'll see this looking different. I'm not sure if it'll be finished. We'll see. I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy the process. Okay. Signing up for now. Take care. Be well. Keep smiling.